This year, we wanted to try having a Thanksgiving meal in the traditional style, but meatless. Add to that the complexity of uh, preparing this entire meal with only one burner stove, and Amy doesn't do well with gluten. And as you may know, most meatless options start with wheat gluten. Let's show them how we did it. Yes. If you like this recipe, tell your friends. Tell us about it in the comments. And subscribe to our channel for more interesting food cooking ideas. This meal was absolutely delicious. Let's see how we made it. Many meatless products use wheat gluten as their protein. Corn uses mycoprotein, which is made from fermented fungi. It is actually really good. Trader Joe's turkey gravy does not include wheat flour. Three Baker's gluten-free herbed stuffing. And round it off with earth balanced dairy-free butter and almond breeze dairy-free milk. The instructions for the roast were to bake in an oven at 425. So we used our Dutch oven and it seemed to work just fine. And yes, you do cook it with the cellophane on. We prepped the roast the day before, so it had been refrigerated and was cool to the touch. The true test is eating this without the gravy. Let's see if it's any good. I like it. Actually has to test the texture of bird. Breast meat, white meat. All right, onward. All right. In this separate pot, we boiled the potatoes, added salt and pepper, and milk and butter to be mashed. We also prepped the stuffing ahead of time. It did come seasoned, but it's never enough. So we added more parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Now it's time to put it all together. We start with the meat as the bottom layer, and then we cover that with the gravy. The mashed potatoes are a layer on top of that, and the very top layer is saved for the stuffing. Now, just the cooking. We're gonna heat it up on this nice large cast iron skillet pot for 15 or 20 minutes everything's already cooked just needs to be heated up and then it's showtime if you like this meal idea subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other recipes Please don't forget the cranberry sauce.